Am I the A for suing my parents for my college money? My great aunt set up savings accounts for all her female relatives. In our culture, education for a woman is not really valued, and she thought that was BS. She lived with her father in London, where she was educated. She went on to attend university and became a doctor. She married a British man. They moved to America and had a great life. She funded the education of as many of her nieces and grandnieces as she could. When she passed away, she left money to every girl relative she could. My parents managed to access the accounts that were set up for my sister and I. They used it to pay for my brother's wedding. My sister didn't care because she got married two years out of high school and has no intention of going to college. When I graduated, I went to the bank to get money for school, and it was almost all gone. There was like 13000 left. I asked my parents about it, and they said they needed the money. I finally found out where the money went. I was furious. I got student loans and moved out. I am a great source of shame to them, and I don't give two Fs. I am currently suing them for the money that was left for me. My entire family is against me. They all think I am a complete a-ho for airing private family business in public and that I am putting money ahead of family. My friends are all on my side, but they are all Americans and don't really get my culture. Neither do I, to be honest. My brother called me up and offered to pay for my university if I dropped the lawsuit. I agreed as long as he had a legally binding contract. He said I was being an a-hole for not trusting him. I said he should not have accepted my money for his wedding. It is causing all kinds of embarrassment in our community. I am somewhat ashamed to be doing this, but I don't want to have this debt I should not have. Now for the comments before the update. Not the A. Your parents didn't borrow your money. They stole it. I hope you have all the documents to show that that money was yours. Your brother is also the A-ho for trying to get you to drop a lawsuit with what is most likely a lie. If you have a chance to start life without student debt, you do whatever you can to do that your parents, but I'm sorry for their culture, sound completely toxic. I'm glad you got out. The Student Law Center at my university is helping me with everything. I have proof that the money was mine. I am trying to do everything I can so this does not become a criminal matter. They think I am a complete a ho for airing private family business in public and that I am putting money ahead of family. No, they think you are an a-ho for holding them accountable for their awful actions. They thought you would be a pushover, but you are showing them you're not. Your great aunt would be proud of you, and you aren't the one putting money ahead of family. They did when they stole your money. They already showed you how little they think of you or respect you or love you as a family member when they screwed you over. Not the A, obviously. Not the A. Your parents and your brother had the opportunity to keep this a private matter when you told them you would sue them if they didn't return the money or pay for your schooling. Since you have already been betrayed by family members you trusted, your brother should not be offended that you want a written contract. Not the A. She set up that fund precisely to stop this kind of sexist peripheral treatment. Do it. Exactly. If it was used for living costs while OP was a child, it would be one thing. But to prioritize a wedding party over education with someone else's money is just insane. Clearly not the A. Update. It's over. I got my money. I have also pretty much been disowned by my family, but I consider that a win as well. 
my parents ended up having to mortgage some property to pay me back for what they stole. My family is embarrassed that I forced them to this point. After they had offered to pay me back in installments, nobody is willing to answer me when I ask what would make my parents pay me back if I was stupid enough to trust them. I have been told that I will never find a husband from our culture with my belligerent attitude and strident independence. I laughed. I do not want anything to do with that culture except perhaps enjoy the food. I plan on never returning to that country. I am enjoying the independence I have achieved and am more than happy to know that several others of the young women in my family have taken steps to lock down the educational funds left for them. For those of you who think this is sexist, that my great aunt only cared about educating women, please die angry. The best revenge is being happy and, in your case, educated. Stranger is proud of you and your great aunt rocks. Your family went directly against the wishes of your aunt, who established the educational trust. Clearly, they prioritized the wedding of your brother with monies that were intended to educate the girls of your family. One thing for certain, they perpetuate the ignorance that girls and women are less worthy of an education and opportunities. My parents always told me that I could do anything. As their only daughter, I took that encouragement to become an engineer, while my brothers are also successful because they too were encouraged to strive for success and happiness. It is evil to just decide that the majority of humans are not worthy of an education because some cultures want to maintain control by keeping us in ignorance, darkness, and subservience. Women's equality and freedom will only be achieved with parity of education. With education comes political power, access to voting, and civil and political positions. Education and universal suffrage go hand in hand. You go, girl. You did good work. And your great aunt is so very proud of you. She could almost burst with pride. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment.